Adolf Hitler's early life laid the foundation for a figure who would leave an indelible mark on world history. Born in Austria-Hungary in 1889, his upbringing was modest, shaped by the strict discipline of his father. In 1889, Hitler entered the world in Braunau am Inn, a small town on the Austro-Hungarian border. His family life was turbulent, marked by the authoritarian character of his father and the death of his younger brother. Struggle was a constant aspect of Hitler's early education. Despite showing some artistic talent, he clashed with the formal schooling system, displaying a rebellious attitude that led to mediocre academic performance. Hitler harbored dreams of becoming an artist, a dream that was crushed twice by the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. These rejections in 1907 and 1908 deeply affected him, contributing to his growing bitterness. During his years in Vienna, Hitler encountered ideologies that would shape his worldview. He developed a fervent belief in German nationalism, along with a deep-seated antipathy towards Jews and Marxists, which influenced his later political activities. Adolf Hitler's service in World War I marked a pivotal chapter in his life. Volunteering for the Bavarian army, he displayed notable bravery, earning the Iron Cross for heroism. This experience deeply influenced his future path. Post-war Germany was a nation in despair, a context that fueled Hitler's burgeoning political ambitions. The Treaty of Versailles left the country humiliated, providing fertile ground for radical ideologies and Hitler's rise to prominence. Hitler's entry into the German Workers' Party in 1919 marked the beginning of his journey to leadership. His fervent oratory and charismatic leadership quickly made him a central figure, setting the stage for his future endeavors. The transformation of the German Workers' Party into the National Socialist German Workers' Party or Nazi Party under Hitler's guidance was a critical moment. It signified the party's shift towards a more radical nationalist ideology with Hitler at its helm. The Beer Hall Putsch of 1923, though a failed coup attempt, was significant. Hitler's imprisonment allowed him time to pen Mein Kampf, laying out his ideology. This period was crucial for rethinking strategies to gain power. After the Beer Hall Putsch's failure, Hitler focused on legally gaining power. He refined the Nazi party's message, appealing to widespread discontent with the Weimar Republic. This strategy attracted diverse supporters, expanding the party's influence. The Great Depression was crucial for Hitler's ascent. Economic turmoil fueled public dissatisfaction, making the Nazi party's promises of revival more enticing. Hitler capitalized on this, positioning himself as Germany's savior in times of distress. In 1933, Hitler's relentless political maneuvering paid off when he was appointed chancellor. Despite initial underestimation, he quickly leveraged this position, aiming to dismantle the Weimar Republic's democratic structures from within. The Reichstag fire was a pivotal moment for consolidating power. Blaming communists, Hitler urged President Hindenburg to sign the Reichstag fire decree. This act suspended civil liberties, allowing the arrest of political opponents and tightening his grip. The Night of the Long Knives further solidified Hitler's control targeting internal dissent within the Nazi party. By eliminating Ernst Röhm and other SA leaders, Hitler appeased the military and silenced potential rivals, ensuring his unchallenged supremacy. Hitler's vision for Germany was deeply rooted in the concept of autarky, aiming for a self-sufficient economy. This ambition drove his aggressive policies for territorial expansion, believing it was essential for the nation's survival and prosperity. The implementation of anti-Semitic policies marked a dark chapter in Hitler's regime. The Nuremberg Laws institutionalized racial discrimination, stripping Jews of their rights and laying the groundwork for further atrocities against Jewish people. Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass, in 1938, escalated the persecution of Jews. Orchestrated violence against Jewish communities signified a shift from discriminatory legislation to outright aggression signaling the horrifying events that would follow. With the invasion of Poland in 1939, Hitler's strategy of Blitzkrieg showcased the devastating effectiveness of combined arms warfare. This marked the beginning of World War II, setting the stage for a global conflict that would engulf numerous nations. The expansion of the war saw Hitler forging the Axis Alliance partnering with Italy and Japan. This coalition sought to challenge the Allied powers, aiming for domination in Europe and beyond, further extending the war's reach and impact. 
The Holocaust marked a horrifying chapter in history, with Hitler orchestrating the mass extermination of Jews. This genocide, known as the Final Solution, utilized concentration camps and ghettos to carry out the mass murders. As the war progressed, key battles like Stalingrad signaled the turning point against the Third Reich. The defeat at Stalingrad began the steady decline of Hitler's power, with the Soviet Union pushing back against German advances. On the home front, Germany was mobilized for total war, affecting every aspect of civilian life. The relentless bombing by the Allies and the demand for resources strained the German population, leading to widespread hardship. Amidst growing pressure, Hitler became increasingly paranoid, surviving numerous assassination attempts. This paranoia led to a further tightening of his inner circle and an increase in brutal repressive measures against perceived enemies. The downfall of the Third Reich was hastened by the Allied invasion on D-Day. As Allied forces advanced, Hitler retreated to his Führer bunker in Berlin, his health visibly deteriorating amidst the crumbling empire he had built. In Hitler's final days, the Führer bunker became the epicenter of a crumbling regime. As Allied forces closed in, his health and mental state deteriorated, encapsulating the downfall of a dictator once deemed invincible. The supposed suicide of Adolf Hitler in 1945 marked a grim close to a reign of terror. In the depths of Berlin, he chose death over capture, leaving a world scarred by his actions to reckon with the aftermath. Following Hitler's demise, secrecy shrouded the discovery of his body. Efforts to confirm his death were entangled in the chaos of post-war Europe, fueling speculation and mystery around the end of the Third Reich's leader. Hitler's legacy remains a subject of intense debate and controversy. His impact on history is undeniable, yet the evaluation of his life and the atrocities under his command continues to provoke discussion and reflection. Reflecting on Adolf Hitler's historical significance, it's crucial to understand the depths of human capacity for both leadership and malevolence. His life and death serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked power and hatred. 